Hello and welcome to Skyworks Power Over Ethernet B6 Me series. My name is Gabor Valentin Chuter, Skyworks Application Engineer, and today we will talk about PIPD's detection function. First of all, let's see what detection actually means when we talk about Power Over Ethernet. To make sure power sourcing equipment, or PSE in short, can provide power to the power device or PD, first, it has to identify if there is any device on the other side of the cable which is capable of accepting the provided power. We call this process as detection. If there would be no detection feature, the PSE could damage the connected non-PD equipment. Nevertheless, since detection exists, a standard compliant PoE switch can be used for non-PoE devices for delivering data, but cannot power them over the Ethernet cable. Now, as we are familiar with the term of detection, let's see how it works step by step. To identify if there is a PoE capable PD on the other end of the cable, PSC applies two voltages between 2.7V and 10.1V. And PSC starts measuring the current draw of the PD. When the input voltage is in the valid detection range, PD presents an external RDAT detection register to indicate to PSC that a valid PD is connected. Its value must be between 23.7 kilo ohms to 26.3 kilo ohms. It is worth to mention the type of rectifying bridge has an impact on the detection, since using an external Schottky diode bridge, the high reverse leakage current of the diodes can violate the IEEE 802.3 standard at high temperatures. To compensate this unwanted effect, we have to choose a little bit larger value for our external R data register in this case. As you can see, R that is calculated by taking the difference of the two measured voltages divided by the measured current difference. We call this differential resistance measurement, which determines the resistive slope and allows static voltage offsets in the PD. For type 1 and type 2 devices, only two pair sets are powered, while for type 3 and type 4 devices, both pair sets can be powered. Hence, if PS is providing power over four pairs, it has to do the detection on both pair sets. In addition to R that resistance, the PD must present a so-called detection capacitance, which value must be between 50 nanofarad and 120 nanofarad. I hope you are a little bit more familiar with Power Over Eternals Detection feature. For further information, please visit skyworksin.com. Thank you and wish you a good rest of your day.